everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in today, and I hope you're all staying good uh, during this time. Um, today, I want to give an update on our efforts to help uh, with the economic recovery around COVID-19. And in particular, I want to share some new product updates uh, that have been part of our effort uh, to help small businesses. Now, it's clear at this point uh, that COVID isn't just a health emergency. It's also the biggest economic shock uh, that we felt in our lifetimes. And uh, people are, as people are being told to stay home, small businesses are uh, having a hard time staying open and millions of people are losing their jobs. And uh, this creates a deeper crisis for our communities, uh, for our ability to feed and, and take care of our families uh, and for our mental health and well-being. Uh, I think that the economic devastation of this uh, may be even greater than the health impact of the virus, and, and I think that we're going to be feeling this for um, years to come. Now, in the face of this, it's, it's remarkable how creative uh, many small businesses have been in finding ways to stay open and keep serving customers. But uh, for some, um, it's just been impossible. You know, a lot of businesses uh, and jobs are just basically on hold and, and don't know when they're going to be able to open up again, uh, if ever. Uh, yesterday, uh, we released our survey on the state of small business. And one finding was that 31% of small businesses uh, have stopped operating. Uh, it's important to recognize that you know, a lot of these aren't just businesses, right? They're, they're, they're pillars of our communities um, uh, that people have poured their lives into, uh, like a family-run bookshop book, book or uh, the, the local butcher shop or, uh, or your favorite restaurant that you go to with your family. Now, one of the ways uh, that small businesses are surviving during this period is by moving more online. And, you know, I think that this is going to be a bigger part of the future of commerce anyway, uh, but it is particularly important right now, uh, because if you can't physically open your store or restaurant, uh, you can still take orders online and uh, ship stuff to people. So uh, we're seeing a lot of small businesses that never had online presences uh, get online for the first time. And we're seeing small businesses that had online presences now make them uh, their primary way of doing business. And you know, this, this isn't going to make up for all of the uh, lost business, but, but it can help. And for lots of small businesses uh, during this period, this is the difference between uh, staying afloat or, or going under. Now at Facebook, serving small businesses is our business. Our mission is about giving uh, individuals the, the power uh, to bring people closer together. And you know, we do that socially by giving people voice. And then we do that economically uh, by empowering individuals and, and entrepreneurs and small businesses. And the vast majority of our advertisers are small businesses. Um, and it also makes up the biggest part of our revenue. So we're, we're uniquely positioned uh, to be a champion for small businesses um, and what helps them grow and, and what keeps them healthy. There, there are actually more than uh, 160 million small businesses around the world uh, that use our services uh, today across Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, uh, and Messenger. And the vast majority of them use our services for free. And I'd actually bet that most of you probably follow some yourself, whether it's um, a local brand that, uh, that you like or, or a restaurant uh, that you like. Um, the vast majority of these businesses don't spend any money with us. Um, although, uh, although quite a few are, are, are advertisers, um, but they're, they're still our partners. And, and over the past couple of months, um, as COVID and the outbreak have grown, we've, we've just been looking at what we can do uh, more to help. Now, what, we, what we've heard is that what many small businesses need right now uh, is financial support. Right? So in March, uh, we announced that we were creating a uh, $100 million uh, grant program to help 30,000 small businesses uh, in over 30 countries. In the US, uh, we work to help small businesses access uh, the government stimulus. You know, we're, we're probably one of the only organizations in the world that both knows uh, who a lot of the small business owners are and has a distribution channel to reach them. Uh, so we put a message at the top of the Facebook app uh, to, for small business owners with the steps that they should take uh, to access the stimulus to keep their business going during this period. We also uh, set up special fundraisers for businesses affected by COVID. Uh, so entrepreneurs can use our, our fundraising tools uh, to ask their community for help. And we've built tools 
uh, like gift cards and food delivery stickers on Instagram. So uh, people in the community can support uh, local businesses that, uh, that you all love. And we also built features like a businesses nearby tool, which uh, lets you find posts from businesses in your community uh, to see their, their, their new pickup or delivery options during COVID um, and make uh, bookings or, or, or send uh, a message directly at mine. Now, today, uh, I want to discuss a new product uh, that we've built that will make it even easier for small businesses to set up shop and sell things directly online. And this is the biggest step that we've taken yet uh, to enable commerce across our family of apps. And it's called uh, Facebook Shops, and it is launching today. And basically for the last couple of months, you know, I've been personally working directly with our team on this uh, every day uh, to accelerate this work uh, so we can help small businesses during this period uh, and, and beyond. And you know, the basic idea here is, is that any small business um, can, can easily uh, start a shop across our apps to, to sell things directly. Um, if, if you visit someone's shop, uh, you're going to be able to see uh, that small business's uh, story. Uh, you're going to see their future products um, and, and even check out and, and buy their items right, right there. And you know, this is new for us. You know, a lot of businesses uh, use our social channels to get the word out online. Um, a lot of them use our ad products to, to reach people and, and build their brands. Uh, but now with shops, uh, we're adding a new way for businesses to sell directly, uh, which is, of course, another piece of, of this business puzzle. So I want to take you through this, and, and I'll tell you why uh, shops are going to be uh, uniquely valuable uh, for people and small businesses, uh, especially during this period. Now, first, uh, Facebook shops are free and easy to create. Even if you're just starting a business in your living room, uh, Facebook shops uh, give you the same tools to build and operate your online storefront uh, that global brands have, have had for, for reaching their customers. You know, if, if you've already put a product catalog uh, on Facebook or Instagram, we can set up a store for you automatically uh, without you having to uh, do anything at all. If you use Shopify or any number of other business backend tools, uh, then with just a small number of clicks, you're going to be able to import uh, your inventory and create a shop across our services. Now, it's, it's simple and it's free to set up a shop. Um, our business model here is ads. So uh, rather than charge businesses for shops, uh, we know that if shops are valuable for businesses, uh, they're going to, in general, want to bid more for ads and, and will eventually make money that way. Um, we'll also uh, protect your privacy when you're using this. And we're not going to share who you, uh, what you buy uh, with friends or, or anyone else um, on our services with, without your, your permission. Um, now, second, uh, Facebook shops are available across our apps. Uh, you set up a shop once, and then that same shop is going to be available on your Facebook page and, and on your Instagram profile. Uh, and we're building integrations for Messenger and WhatsApp now, too. For small businesses, now this means that you can just set up an online shop once uh, and have it consistently uh, available across all these apps. And for people using our apps, uh, that means that you're going to be able to have a consistent experience no matter where you're accessing a business. So if you message a business in WhatsApp, uh, you're going to be able to access their catalog and buy things uh, the same way uh, that you'd be able to if you were browsing on Instagram. If you put uh, an item in your cart on Instagram, uh, then, then when this is fully rolled out, you're going to eventually be able to uh, check out from Facebook too. Uh, it's one simple and consistent experience across uh, this family of apps which means that it is easier for people. And that of course means that uh, there are gonna be higher conversions and more sales uh, for small businesses. Now next, uh, Facebook shops are native and fast. Now, how many times have you had uh, this experience where you see an interesting product um, in an ad on Instagram or in a post from a business uh, on Facebook, uh, but then when you tap on it, it takes you to a mobile website um, that is slow, uh, is an inex inconsistent experience, um, you know, probably doesn't know what your, your credit card number or shipping address is. So you have to 
uh, go and fumble with your wallet and to, to go enter that. And a lot of the time you just end up abandoning it. Well, uh, that's not going to happen here uh, because Facebook shops are native and fast, uh, which means that they're going to be built directly into each of our apps. Uh, so that means that now uh, when you click on that product uh, that you've discovered, it's, uh, it's going to be able to take you uh, to a product page that loads almost instantly and uh, that can have your credit card stored uh, if you've ever bought anything uh, with uh, one of our services before and if that business is using checkout. So that means that it's going to be a much better experience uh, for people and a much higher conversion rate uh, for small businesses, which again, uh, just means more sales. Now we're also building a bunch of features across our apps to help you discover interesting things uh, from businesses that you might want to buy. The biggest example here uh, is we're building a dedicated shopping tab on Instagram uh, that's just going to be one tap away from home. Now, we're, we're still tuning this and, and putting the finishing touches on this, but, but in the meantime, we're also building a shopping destination inside Explorer uh, where you're going to be able to find and buy products. If you see something you're interested in uh, while viewing a business's uh, Instagram story, uh, you're going to be able to swipe up and, and buy it if the, if the business has enabled check in, checkout. Or you're going to be able to go to their shop from there and explore uh, what else they, they, they have to offer. Another example um, is live shopping. You know, more than 800 million people uh, engage in live video daily across Facebook and Instagram. And a lot of that uh, includes uh, product tutorials and product launches. So uh, we're going to make it possible uh, to shop on live um, in real time. And we're going to start testing this feature uh, on Facebook and Instagram very soon. And of course, in addition to all these new features, uh, we already have the marketplace tab on Facebook and product tabs in the main uh, Instagram feed today, which are widely used by, by a lot of people for discovering new products. So all of this uh, just makes for a more interesting experience for people where you'll discover more products. Um, and it gives small businesses uh, the opportunity to reach uh, more potential customers, especially uh, during this period. Now next, um, shops offer a lot of customization. Um, so small businesses are gonna be able to tell their story uh, and, and what they're about. You know, something we hear a lot from small businesses is that uh, they're more than just a list of products, right? Uh, they have a mission, they, they have values, um, they, they represent something. And you know, they're trying to provide something uh, that makes your life better. And they want to explain what your life is going to be like uh, with, uh, with their product in it. Now, when, when you walk down the road, or uh, I guess when you used to walk down the road, now, not every shop uh, was the same, right? They, uh, they all have their own story to tell. Um, and, and we built Facebook shops with this in mind. Um, small businesses are going to be able to customize uh, how they appear and create collections of, of the products uh, that they're the most proud of. Um, they're gonna be able to connect their loyalty programs so people across our apps uh, can see their points and rewards uh, when they buy through these shops. And you know, this should allow small businesses to, to tell their own story, um, which should create a more compelling experience uh, for, for people browsing and shopping. Um, we'll, we'll get people more interested and again, ultimately, um, will help improve the conversion rate and increase sales uh, for small businesses, especially during this period. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about uh, in terms of features for shops are that shops are going to be able to use our AI uh, to create better personalized shopping experiences uh, than, than you're going to be able to have uh, almost anywhere else. So, you know, for example, we've built AI systems uh, to automatically identify and tag products in photos. So uh, ideally, people are going to be able to link to them um, from you know, our main feeds and Facebook and Instagram uh, without a business uh, eventually even having to tag anything. We're, uh, we're, we're going to enable small businesses uh, to do the kinds of personalization in shops uh, that might just not be possible um, for them to do on their own websites. So you know, if, if for example, you're a clothing designer, and you make clothes for, for men and women, uh, when, when I show up, uh, you're gonna be able to show me clothes that are designed uh, for men since that's uh, probably what I'm gonna wanna check out. So 
uh, we're, we're also building out our, our augmented reality technology. Um, so if you're selling uh, beauty products or, or home decor, for example, um, in some cases, you're going to be able to get a preview of what those products are going to look like on you uh, or in your home, especially if um, you know, it's, it's for something like lipstick or, or makeup or, um, or, or sunglasses. Um, these experiences are just like um, some, of what you're, some of what you can do in, in, in a few of our uh, early augmented reality ad units today. So all of these features uh, create a better shopping experience um, than should be available anywhere else. And they should increase sales uh, for, for small businesses uh, because you know, as, as a shopper, they, when you can actually try on a product and see how it's going to look on you, um, that gives you confidence that, uh, that this product is a good fit. All right, so, so this all um, adds up to something that I think is going to be quite powerful. If you're running a small business, um, or if you're thinking about starting one, uh, even from your living room, uh, you, you have a whole suite of tools available uh, that can help serve people. Um, even before today, you can build out your, your online presence across Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can use WhatsApp and Messenger to communicate with customers. Um, you can uh, reach new customers through our ads. Um, and now you also have a new tool, which is that you can set up a full online shop experience uh, with Facebook shops. And all these tools um, are open for business, even when uh, your physical storefront can't be. Now, the, the reality here is that uh, there's a lot more that's needed to build a business too. And uh, while you could run your business just with our tools if you wanted, uh, we think that the better strategy is to support a strong open ecosystem of business tools. Now, in, in some of our earlier efforts to help with commerce, uh, we required uh, small businesses to go all in with, with our tools and to create a full end-to-end -end experience um, in order to even get started. So that made it harder uh, for us to serve uh, many small businesses uh, at the scale that we would have wanted. So now we've changed our approach somewhat in, in order to partner more closely with the other business tool uh, companies in the ecosystem um, to make it really easy for small businesses to, to use the parts of our tools that they want uh, and to use other tools for other parts of the value chain that, uh, frankly, other companies uh, serve better, like, like inventory management, uh, multi-channel presence management, shipping, uh, returns, and, and other kinds of logistics. So uh, rather than trying to own uh, this whole process end-to-end -end ourselves, uh, we think that we're going to serve small businesses better uh, by helping uh, to build out a, a whole commerce ecosystem. We're going to offer uh, we're going to offer our tools, uh, but ultimately it's going to be up to businesses uh, to decide uh, what they want to use and what level of integration uh, they want. And I think that this is going to lead uh, to better experiences for people and better results for for small businesses as well. Now, one of the nice uh, effects of this approach is that we've got to work a lot more closely with other organizations that are doing great work in this space, like uh, like Shopify, uh, Big Commerce, and, and WooCommerce. Um, you know, Shopify, for example, uh, it's an it's an e-commerce platform uh, that that more than a uh, million businesses around the world rely on. Uh, they offer powerful tools that entrepreneurs need to start and run their businesses, and uh, they've helped a lot of uh, companies move online, including uh, during COVID, some some new kinds of businesses like restaurants that hadn't really uh, typically seen themselves as e-commerce businesses before uh, this outbreak. Now, together, uh, Shopify and Facebook uh, can help even more small businesses build out uh, their online presence. So to talk about this more, uh, I'd like to welcome Shopify CEO, Toby Lutke, to, uh, to this live stream. So Toby, um, thanks. Thank you for your partnership um, and thanks for joining today. I'm, I'm excited about what we're going to, uh, to be able to do for, for small businesses together. And so am I. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. Thanks for having me. So um, I, I'm really excited about the, the, the partnership. Um, and, I'm, and just, you know, I'm, I'm curious, maybe you can, um, uh, you know, I, I, this is something that we've been working closely on for a while. And I'd be, I'd be curious just to you know, get, get your take on this and, 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 and just have you share a few words about, about what you think about what we're doing here. 
Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm hugely excited by it. It's, um, uh, you know, Shopify, we've been, um, the, the reason why we exist, we, our mission is to make entrepreneurship much more common, much more uh, frequent, uh, and, and, and much more accessible. That's what we've spent the last 15 years on. Um, and we've always had a partnership approach. What everyone needs right now, especially in this crazy situation that, that, that you described earlier, uh, with COVID is um, new buyers. Um, small businesses need a, a way to find new buyers. And uh, this is it's going to be an incredibly powerful new reality for everyone in the retail space uh, to have these powerful tools built natively in the Facebook platform. So can you talk for a minute about uh, the kind of open ecosystem that um, that you've been trying to build for small businesses over the past several years. What have you seen and what are, what are your, your hopes for the next few years on that front? Yeah, our, our, our opinion is that um, merchants are a really, really important ingredient in the, um, in, in, in the world of commerce. A lot of innovation comes from them. One of the most incredible like privileges of my job is we, we have a million uh, uh, small businesses on, on, on Shopify and I get to speak to a lot of them. And um, there's something magical about hearing a creator talk not just about what they're making but um describe the reasons why they th thought this product needed to exist like what change they actually were seeking and why they set out to create the business that they uh, that they built this like communication is really 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 important and i mean the, the world of retail has seen a 60 70 year time span uh, where, where um, the communication channels are frankly, very monopolized um, uh, from uh, consumer packaged good companies in the, in the te television advertising space. And I think one of the most amazing things about, uh, you know, what's happened between Facebook and, uh, uh, you know, Shopify stores and so on is that there was um, a democratization of access again, where small businesses can directly find their audiences. Uh, and I've, I think we'll see a lot more of this um, with better tools of communication being created now. Yeah, so in our conversations, one of the themes that you've really emphasized to me uh, over the years is how important it is for businesses to be able to tell their story, right? It's this point that businesses aren't just a list of products. Um, can you talk about that and, and what, what you found um, through your work at, at Shopify and, um, and what you think are going to be the important pieces of, of um, what we need to deliver through Facebook shops in order to um, do, what, do what merchants need here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, again, again um, uh, the shops and are much more than just listings. They really are stories, and, and I think um, in a lot, in a very real way, what the world of e-commerce has done on on the web, partly due to the limitations, is that we we've we've built sort of a digital version of the traditional CS catalog, uh, except with buy buttons, um, which is not a um, bad initial approach. But when we're looking at the, uh, the entrepreneurs who have been really successful, uh, especially the, the, the new and digitally native brands, um, they didn't build their online stores like this. They, they, they created much deeper relationship um, with, their, with their buyers. They, create, they, they started optimizing for the long-term uh, value and, and uh, the lifetime value of customers by having them come back and back, uh, and back again. Um, and then uh, creating more like something like a community. So again, once you see um, a video of a founder describe why the product really truly needs to exist or what they saw that other people might not have seen, um, you're not just buying the product afterwards. You, you, you're buying a little bit into a, a worldview and you're adopting a community in many instances. And I think this is why um, we've seen so much of this innovation happen on, 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 on top of the Facebook platform and why this is like going to be an amazing additional asset. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the one of the really interesting trends, as you've been talking about, is that you know, it used to be that um, you know small business making something would have to sell it through someone else, right, in, in order to get distribution physically in a store. But in the last few years, there's really been um, this explosion of these direct to consumer uh, businesses and small businesses that um, have have really taken off. Largely, um, a, a lot of them using the tools that that our two companies. Um, ha have been building. So I'm curious, where, where do you think that's going and what other uh, trends around that are you, are you seeing now? 
Yeah, I think the the um, D two C industry, as some people call it, really really happened on top of uh, the combined um, work of Shopify and Facebook. Um, I, I think the there, there's the rela- the direct relationship. It, it it sounds like a it sounds like a little bit of an optimization, but it's 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 a completely different world. Like if you if if your job is to put to create products which sell well from busy shelves. Um, you're optimizing on packaging and uh, you know value prop. Um, if your situation is that you're selling directly, like you are in direct communication again with uh, with, with, with your customers. You're suddenly responsible for it, like everything about this product. You are going to get the if, if something is wrong, you'll hear it um, because your customers will tell you. If they return products because of some defects, you will see those defects. Uh, like all this disintermediation, uh, like is undone in this direct relationship. And, and what we've seen is that almost invariably in every category of, 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 of products that people uh, purchase, um, that uh, these direct-to-consumer challenger brands um, coming up and, and the ones which do it well on merit with good products thrive. And I think that's a, that's a, that's a better, uh, it's a, that's a less distorted market environment, <laughs> which, which leads to mm-hmm. people being much happier with products and so on than, than, than the alternatives. Yeah. All right. Well, this is great. Um, thank you, Toby, for, for joining us. I'm really excited about the partnership um, together and working more closely. I mean, our organizations have obviously worked together for many years, but um, but working more closely together than ever now. Um, I'm really looking forward to what we're going to be able to build together, um, not just our companies, but this whole open ecosystem that we're, we're both trying uh, hard to build. So um, thank you again, and I'm looking forward to doing this, and, um, and, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you, Mark, and congrats. All right. All right. So um, I want to thank all of you again uh, for tuning in today. Um, Facebook Shops um, is launching today across Facebook and Instagram. Um, And I'm excited to get this into a lot more of your hands. Um, I'm I'm hopeful uh, that it's going to be able to play uh, some role in helping small businesses uh, get through this period and thrive longer term. Uh, I, I know that these tools aren't, they're not going to work for everyone, um, and they're not going to be able to undo all of the economic damage uh, that's been caused by COVID, uh, but I hope that we can at least help build um, some of the infrastructure that businesses need, uh, not only in this moment, but, um, but going forward as well. Uh, because even when this period uh, and the lockdowns uh, pass, I, I do think that we're going to continue living more of our lives online and doing more business online too. Uh, so, you know, if we can make it easier for anyone to, to start a business, if we can help more types of businesses build their online presence, uh, even if they didn't think that they needed one before, uh, then hopefully uh, we're going to be able to relieve some of the pressure that, uh, that some small businesses are facing right now um, and, and help businesses of all sizes uh, as they, they prepare for the future. So uh, thank you again to all of you for, for tuning in today and joining me. Um, I hope you're all staying well. And I look forward to to seeing all of you again soon.